Great firms both exploit existing capabilities and explore into new spaces. It turns out that exploration is a challenge to the incumbent organization because it requires different skills, different cultures, different capabilities, different structures. The things that kill large incumbent organizations is they get stuck in a mode of exploiting their current capabilities and they don't know how to explore. One of the things we found is this notion of an ambidextrous organization that can build internally inconsistent architectures that both explore and exploit at the same time. The secret sauce on making those ambidextrous firms work is the ability of the senior team to be able to hold contradictory strategies simultaneously, to be able to live in the past and the future, to be big and little, to be exploitative and exploratory at the same time. So this notion of paradox, this notion of teams being able to make resource allocation decisions across these domains are what we find discriminates between those more versus less effective organizations. The key for senior teams is this overarching identity, articulating some emotionally engaging identity, some meta frame and exploiting, to building a senior team that is incented for doing both. So there's a common fate reward system. And probably most fundamentally, having the cognitive complexity to be able to live in this paradoxical world. My favorite example is the Ball Corporation. The Ball Corporation, it started out many, many years ago as a bucket company. And then it went from buckets into glass jars. And then from glass jars into aerospace. And why aerospace? Because they needed the material science technology to do metal cans. And then this plastic water bottle is a ball product. So this is an organization that has both explored, exploited, explored, exploited for more than 150 years. The beauty of this ambidextrous form is it permits the exploitative organization to continue to grow incrementally. And you have experiments that are exploratory. And most of the experiments fail. So you want to actually fail forward, fail small, learn from your failures. But once you get one of these variants that you think is going to work, then you quickly go to scale.